Hey everybody, Pastor Tracy here coming to you with another TCWC moment. We hope that these TCWC moments that, that hopefully you tune in every Monday, uh, we hope they're a source of encouragement to you and, and hope that you enjoy these and it brings you some hope and strength and, and, and just, again, encouraging words maybe for some times that you're going through in your life. What I want to talk to you today about is, is this thing that many people are talking about all over. Some are just openly talking about it. Other, others are inwardly really processing it in their life. And, and that's this question. Are we living in the end times? You know, never in 30 years of ministry have I been asked that question more than I have probably in the last several months. Pastor, do you think all of this stuff that we're seeing with the pandemic, with uh, social unrest, with uh, the economy and all of this stuff, do, do you think this is really, are, are we really in the end times? Well, just so there's no misunderstanding, let me, let me just say this very direct, I absolutely believe we are living in the end times. I, I believe the end times are here. I don't believe they're just near anymore, but I really believe that the end times are here. Now that's not setting a date, that's not setting a time of, of when I think, because no, no person knows that time, but I do believe that we're living in the last days. And if we are living in the last days, what I want to emphasize to you is how much more important is the local church to you and to others <clears throat> all over the world. I believe it's that important. Uh, see, there's a verse of scripture in Hebrews chapter 10 that really, that really talks about this, about what should we be doing as, as the coming of the Lord draws close. Here's what he says in Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 25. He said, and let us not neglect our meeting together or coming together as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. You see, I still believe that the local church is the hope of the world. Uh, I, I believe that's why there's so many scriptures. That's why most of the New Testament, you know, is, is really all about the local church and how important the local church is in helping people in their everyday life. Now listen, I understand that there's some people because of job situations, it could be health related and, and all those things that we do have going on right now in our world and in our culture that prevents people from coming physically and being a part, you know, of a local church. But I want to encourage you, if there's any way possible, we're, we're physical distancing in our church at our 9 a.m. service, at our 1045 service. I want to encourage you, if there's any way possible, you know, to, to come. And if you're living close to us or you're part of our congregation, begin to pray and think about, you know, coming and being a part with other believers. Because there's something that happens when you actually come together that that, that, that just can't happen any other way. There's a synergy. I believe there's a power. There, there's, there's just a, a great anointing when God's people, you know, come together. And, and, and so I want to encourage you to do that. And, and, and if you're watching and you're not from our area, get connected with a local church because the local church is where you're going to you're going to connect with fellow believers. It's where you're going to find a source of strength and a source of hope. And you're hearing encouraging words. But take what this said together. See, if we truly believe we're living in the last days, he said, then don't stop coming together. You see, all of this stuff that we see going on around us right now is even talked about in Scripture. It's not anything hidden from us. Uh, he said all of these things would be happening as we move into the last days. And then we find this verse of Scripture in Hebrews that says the local church is even that much more important in these final days, in these last days. So I want to leave you with that today. And again, we recognize there's, there's people because of job situations, health reasons, all that that you can't. But if there's a way that you can, I want to encourage you, connect with a local church. I believe you'll be better for it. It will strengthen you as we live in these last days. Listen, God bless you. I hope you have a great week.